Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a GUI for game passes um, because in, over the next couple of episodes we'll make a couple of game passes and today we're just going to cover the shop GUI for the game passes. So under start a GUI what I'm going to do is cheat a little bit and duplicate the upgrade shop and we'll rename this to game pass shop. Now under this game pass shop we're going to delete the open upgrade shop one script for now and this shop will rename, we'll just rename that to background and we'll make it visible. Now of course we have a scrolling frame here with upgrades so as we add more um, game passes, if you add more then it will automatically create a scrolling frame with them. Uh, if you find it kind of cuts off a bit you can just go into your scrolling frame and play around with the actual size and position of the canvas. But for now we're going to just have one upgrade in here. Uh, and all we need for this upgrade, we'll keep the line off. Um, the up actual button, we'll keep that as well. Uh, but this won't be upgrade, this will just be purchase. Uh, the description, this is now going to be changed manually. We're not going to do this via script. So we'll just, first of all, we'll make the name. So the first upgrade, this will just be Game Pass template. For now, we'll just call this. And then we'll make the description. This will be the description for a Game Pass or something like that. And then what we'll also what we're going to do is duplicate the name uh, text label and rename this to price. We'll drag that down to about here in line with the purchase button, sort of middle kind of between the purchase button and the edge of the screen like this. And I'll maybe make this different color. Uh, this will just say the price. So I might make this maybe um, purple or something. It's up to you. Let's just call this um, 100 Robux or something like that. And this is our little template here. We of course need to make the shop open and close. Um, under the purchase button, under we have the fire event and the text. We're going to delete both of these for now. Uh, but what we will do uh, under the actually inside the game pass shop, forgetting the background, we're going to add in another text button, which we'll rename to open uh, shop. And we'll add, well first of all let's design this button, so I'm just going to copy our rebirth button, so if we go into rebirth GUI and uh, open rebirth, I'm just going to duplicate that and drag that into the game bar shop instead of making our own one. And then rather than open rebirth, this will be open shop. And now inside here we've got this local script, so first of all let's drag this down underneath the rebirth button. We might want to make this a bit smaller because not everyone's going to uh, want to have the game pass shop button as big as the rebirth button so there we go we drag that down a bit and we'll make this say game pass game passes something like that. design it how you'd like and in this local script we're going to have local button is script dot parent uh, we'll also say local uh, background equals button dot parent uh, colon wait for child background so when the background's loaded in we'll set that to a variable named background and then what we can just say is when this button is clicked we can say background dot visible is not equals not background dot visible so what this means is if the visibility is false it will set it to true if it's already true it will set it back to false and the close button as well, let's quickly um, program that. So under the text button, we've got this local button and we'll say local uh, background equals button dot parent dot parent, which is the background. Uh, and then we can just say background dot visible equals false. Now, if we quickly set this background back to invisible, hit test and play see that when we hit the game passes we get the upgrade shop uh, in fact we need to rename that text label but you see this all works we can open and close it uh, I'm just going to quickly change this text label at the top to say rather than um, upgrade shop we need to make this say game pass shop so under the header we'll just all we'll do is rename this to game pass shop now if we hit test play and do this again it should look quite nice and it will look basically like the game uh, normal shop the but just a game bar shop so there we go purchase button won't do anything yet but you can see how this all sort of comes along uh, you can add images if you want for the game pass uh, I know game passes do have images so in fact we'll do that as well we'll add an image to the side 
So if we open up the background again, now what we'll do is under our upgrade one, uh, we will just kind of squash all of this in a bit. Or well, actually, we don't need to do that. What we can do is just get the name, move that across, maybe 70, maybe 80 pixels. So we'll get 80 of there along there. Uh, and this, because then what we can do is fit in a 75 by 75 image. And then what we, um, and then same with the description, but this time we we'll just shrink it so it's in line once again with the title and the price. Same again, we'll just move that along so it's sort of in line with the purchase button, the title. It's kind of in line with all of it. Or we can just clip it to the name like that. And then what we can do is add an image label, which we'll rename to icon. Set this to a size of 0.1. 0 0.10 and then we can resize it using scale and not offset and we've got enough room here to sort of put it about 75 by 75 pixels so 75 by 75 and we can just sort of drag that up there with this green line and it looks fine and if we want we can add in a ui corner of maybe like 0 0.20 and it looks good so I hope you found this video helpful everyone, that is literally it. Uh, if we were to now go and make this invisible again just for next time, that is all I wanted to show you. Um, you'll see if we were to go ahead into our upgrades and add more upgrades, it automatically gives us a template each time, so then we can make as many as we want. In the next episode we will script our first game pass, I don't know what game pass that will be. So I'll quickly rename this to uh, template game pass, rather than upgrade one. And that's it. Uh, make that visible again. So yeah, that's literally it. So in the next episode, as I say, we'll work on the first game pass. I'm not sure that will be yet. I'm thinking maybe times two speed or rebirths or gems. Uh, I'll probably cover all three of those. I'll go to think, find out exactly what rebirth, what kind of game passes we'll cover. We'll cover one of them in the next video. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And goodbye.